So what kind of ideas you have? Honestly, with the time constraints that we do have, I'm thinking maybe shorts. All right, let's see what we can do. If we need. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Alan B. Charity. I'm over here at the Academy for Urban Scholars and we're doing a film class today. Basically, we're gonna be teaching the youth how productions are done, how films are made, uh, breaking that barrier to entry to creating our own films and our own movies, creating production crews. And today we're gonna be going over some character development. We're gonna be remaking The Breakfast Club. The kids are gonna develop the script and they're also gonna write and play in the character roles. Stay tuned and follow us to see how our project turns out. Okay, so everyone grab a seat. I saw that, I saw that look coming from a mile away. I knew before I even picked up the chair you were going to give me that look. We are going to get down to business. We have a lot of things to cover. We weren't here for maybe two weeks. First order of business. And honestly, this seems like the core. Sub genres are geeks now. It isn't just a general geek anymore. Now you have types of geeks that people know by name. The anime geeks, video game geeks. Um, that's still a job. It's more mainstream. I understand what you mean. It's still cosplay. Anybody that will put on another man's name and run around like he has his skill on a sport, that's cosplay. It's still geekery. Yeah, we're not calling anybody out. Like, woo, I'm Ben Roethlisberger. No, you're not. <laughs> you are staying from the county. <laughs> okay. Now, geeks, jocks, emos. I feel like there should be a representation of the internet culture. What I mean is a social media kid. Always on Instagram or doing it for the gram or, you know, selfie, something. Always in their phone doing some update. Burnout. The burnout. Real hoodlum. Yes. Uh, that's you? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Oh, okay. I thought you were going to give me another type. Like, no, no, I'll stay with that. Yeah. Um, emo job, geek, social media about burnout and hoodlum. The thing I did not like about the first, they were a lot of two-dimensional characters. So that means if you were a jock, everything you did was a jock. It wasn't a jock who loved painting secretly. Now that, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, you had a thug, but you didn't really have like a thug with that volunteers downtown. Like they weren't complicated characters. I would kind of like to see a little bit of complication. Well, I could be, I could be a thug in our scene. Huh, I like yeah, it. Yeah, 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 okay, put that down. I, I can be Sing. emo with a hoodlum background. Exactly. Okay, yeah. let's say let's say she's um, emo with a rap sheet. I like that. Not that rap sheet. <laughs> I was joking. That's okay. why. Woo! She scared me for a minute. Okay. Um, how about a burnout that? Oh, dude, is incredibly smart. Smart. <clears throat> Like he's actually genius level burnout. A secret rapper. And he's got, yes, yeah, great bars. You would never know. Like secretly online, he's an amazing rapper. Nobody knows it. Give me another idea about something a jock can do. Something artistic, because people don't expect jocks to do anything like that. Like what you said, he can draw. A jock that I can cook. An artist? Really? I don't know. Yeah. A like jock that's real artist? No, 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 I know what you're talking about. I can't think of a movie right now. I can't. You shouldn't have watched it. But. Um, <laughs> say that right now. Wait, wait. What's the name of the movie? No. Damn. So, an artist jock. Is that what we're saying? Let's put it this way. We're still playing on stereotypes. If we're talking about a, a stereotypically masculine role, then that means we need to find a stereotypically feminine thing that he would do. <laughs> a jock stylist. Yes. You don't have to be gay to be a stylist. We had the same idea. <laughs> no one's seen The Breakfast Club. Yeah. Uh, okay, Todd, have you seen The Breakfast Club? I've seen some of it. We should probably watch it now. It's on Netflix. Uh, no, I'm, it's 
Um, it's probably an hour and a half, but we can at least start it. Yeah. I want you to think about how can I play that part? This is your part now. So you have to watch how they interact in the scene and say, how can I do that differently? I feel like if we had the script first, it'd be better. Let's put it this way, when you rec recreate something, you don't have to do it scene for scene, but there's certain iconic scenes that everybody's gonna recognize. Like, oh yeah, I remember that.